TSE is a condition which has skin rash type effects on the face, pigmentation, colouring issue on other limbs, um, and more importantly, it has kind of a form of benign growths which grow on the soft tissue organs inside the body. When I hit teens, I thought I just had really bad acne like a lot of um, my peer group did. It wasn't until sort of my early 30s I got my first diagnosis. That was the first time that I was confronted with the fact that I had a medical condition. I was diagnosed with tubular sclerosis, which is tubular sclerosis complex now. The key message really was that there wasn't any opportunity to treat the condition. It's unlikely that I would go past my late 40s. As each year passed, I was starting to think, I wonder what's going to happen now. It made me think about my brother who'd already uh, lost. It started to make me wonder, had he died from the same thing? There was no day-to-day -day symptoms that changed the way that I felt or, or any ailments or anything as such. It wasn't until I had a really difficult problem with a blood clot eye, I was referred to St George's Hospital. They talked to me about Evolimus. It's a gene-directed therapy that it would hopefully inhibit the tumour growth and that it would actually um, very likely prolong my, my life. It's the first time anybody had offered me an opportunity other than telling me that there was something wrong with me. Literally for me it's a lifesaver. I don't know what the alternative would have been. I'm enormously grateful to the team at St George's for allowing me to participate in the pilot. I was told I wouldn't be alive now. I was told you know, I wouldn't get past my late 40s. The fact that a medication like this exists and to be able to take it on the National Health Service, I think it's a fantastic opportunity. I'm enormously grateful for that. And I think it's really, really powerful that we've got to this point.